Hello guys, Dwayne here. I'm a musician, artist from Houston, Texas, living in LA now. And I have a new radio show called Dwayne's World where I'm just bringing people here, having beautiful, intimate conversations with my friends, collaborators, people that I really care for and respect. For this first episode, I have for Stacy, who's on tour right now with Nothing Nowhere. Um, we just did a song together called Die Out Here that's killing it. And I love him for that. And um, here's the episode right here. I hope you guys enjoy it. We are on another episode of Dwayne's World, and I'm here with my brother, and, and truly I'm a fan of this man, poor Stacy. Thank you, bro. Thank you. What's how, going on? How are you, man? How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great, bro. It's been a crazy ride, you know? Thank you for fun. being thank you for being here. I know you got a lot of shit going on. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got a lot of shit going on, man. You're in LA. I know you just played. What'd you guys play at? Um, I'm not actually uh, fully aware of the venue. I feel I like when that. I'm on tour, I'm like floating around. Yeah. Back to back. It's such it's such a crazy experience being in a different state every day. But um yeah, I don't know. It was, it was insane. I mean, it's been a trip being on tour, nothing, nowhere and stuff. I'm meeting the guys are hella cool. I mean, Carol's daughter, everybody's really great. Yeah, she's talented. Yeah. She's really, really talented. It's interesting being on a tour with so much different talent. I understand. And like different waves, you know. In South Florida, I, I mean, I've been a part of so many different scenes as far as like EDM. You know, you have the Hangar and Club Cinema was a big wave that was going on out there. And then like the hardcore scene and like what's going on and like... Hey, five, six, and a bunch of my homies like that, like that are in bands like Blood Bather and stuff. Like my mm-hmm. boy Salem, he helps me produce a lot of the records. It's like interesting being in something that is so clusterfuck that yeah. at the same time. But Can still I be curse? able to stand out. Like, oh, of course. Like, no yeah. Problems, go. No, do your thing and still be able to stand out. And like I feel I feel like we talked about this when we did when we did the video, but like the community and rock music is just kind of fucked. Yeah. And there's so many things going on and we can just still do our thing and, yeah. and let our talent shine that's and look makes, beautiful too. That's what like, makes it what's going on right now so yeah. beautiful is like you could put out anything and as long as you're being genuinely yourself, I feel like it could work. There's like a million people out there for every personality. Agreed. More. Yeah. I l- also love how smart you are. Thank you. <laughs> why I, I met you for the first time and like the conversations that we were having, like just from the music, I was like, I know my nigga is like, just a badass and mad talented. And then we actually sat down and talked. I was like, oh, wait, you like an intellectual. Yeah. Which I just admire. Thank you. I really do, man. I it's really like, it's beautiful. That. Yeah. Yeah, for me, it's always, it's, it's, it's a journey for information. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm always seeking for something, you know? I want to figure out what's going on. Yeah. I feel like that's my greatest drive behind life is like, you, you, you'll never get the answer. Is no one could give you a firm, solid answer on what's happening in the world. What are we collectively working towards? Like, what's the end result here? Mm-hmm. But um, it's cool, you know, yeah. to know that we're living in something that we're all manipulating at the same time. All well, of our ideas and everything's manipulating where we end up. It trips me out. <laughs> it's so true, bro. Like, how much can we control the universe while doing it in a, a very genuine yeah, way? Yeah, we're all you know? doing it subconsciously, <laughs> yeah. whether you know it or not. Yeah. So it's very interesting to me. <laughs> it's sick. I, I love that shit, man. Uh, so how many, do you know how many dates, how many shows you've done so far on this run? I'm halfway through. So okay. I see probably around like the 12 to 13 shows, 12, 15. They've been looking amazing. Thank you. Seriously, bro. I've been watching you fucking crowd surf every time. Bro. <laughs> like kids are like mosh pitting every time, bro. Fucking two-stepping through the yeah. crowd. Yeah. <laughs> love that shit, bro. Thank you, man. I love, that, I love that energy, man. I just feel like, I don't know. It's just cool, man. I don't really know what the word rock star means. Yeah. I think we all have our own take on it, but I think you're definitely... Thank you. One. I mean, for we're, we're all rock stars, right? It's, yeah. a, it's a genuine expression of yourself mm-hmm. is, is the truest form of, of being. And I mean, embodying that and becoming what you think is or what you think should be is, is very strong. And you are life. We yeah. are life. Yeah. You know, we are expressing life and what is happening in the universe now and creating that for people and, and giving them a source to connect to is very powerful. Mm-hmm. You know, you inspire the people who are around you. You give the people hope who are around you. And I feel like that's our mission, right? Is yeah. that you, you want to inspire the world. Yeah, I agree fully. Uh, can I ask how did you how did you get into tunes? Like, how did you get into music and wanted to make music? Oh man, it's such a trip. I feel like I was just like always so into like trying to express myself. I, my brain was like my biggest enemy at one point because I I couldn't really get my thoughts into words. I, I couldn't really express myself because I was so overwhelmed by how much I was paying attention to. So being able to like zone in and eliminate all other, like all other connections, it was really helpful for me. So music created like almost a world where I knew how to communicate Mm -hmm. and it felt comfortable and I could say things in my way or how I wanted to and and create this world of ideas that other people may or may not be able to connect with. And for me, that was like, uh, it was something that that gave me hope. Yeah. So now it's like I don't I don't it was I, I don't know. It, I, actually getting to record music was a crazy experience within itself. I mean like I was so obsessed with like guitar hero and rock band and stuff. Fuck yes. And like, I've always played real instruments as well, but being able to like recite 
recite songs in like a, a very digestible manner was really cool and then like having garage band and then being able to just like plug and play mics and, and record or whatever the case is was was a big benefactor in that and then having like everybody uh, there was like that huge wave in south florida of like what was going on like soundcloud and just like the reemergence of music oh yeah we remember that yeah that shit took over the internet for yeah, times like yeah crazy and in florida that was like a big like resurgence and like like inspiration for the kids because out there it's not like California, mm-hmm. you know, there's a lot of people who want to do shit and have a lot of talent, but they don't think that it's possible because they don't have the resources to travel or to get their their content into the right hands. So, yeah, I don't know. Getting from Florida was a trip. Yeah, it was got a you. trip. Got you. Would you say it was like difficult, or you oh, know, yeah. it was just more of a journey for you? Yeah, I mean, to an extent, because it's like uh, you're trying to get recognized within a sea of people, mm-hmm. a pool of people, and you have to kind of. Oh, I, that's what drove me to be myself because it's like okay, how do you stick out within yeah. a crowd I mean you could definitely create without what other people are creating what the general population is liking in the moment mm-hmm. and ride that wave but I just don't feel like there's longevity in that because you see what happens like yeah, where you do. the wave starts dying and these yeah. people can't sell out a show or they mm-hmm. can't have fun you know they can't enjoy their career anymore because you're so focused on, on pleasing the internet but it's not the internet you Understand. know it's like it's real life still you have yeah. to connect with these people and create a bond there's so many people who I see at my shows that I've seen for four years yeah you know yeah. it's the crazy experience but you, you're building a relationship they're actually like family like friends you know that's so real that's so so real and for for those people do you have like a name or anything or are you guys just you guys just based down for the music and, yeah, and where you I mean, creating I don't, I don't i don't really like to call my my supporters supporters or yeah. fans or anything like that they're people at the end of the day so Understand. for me like almost dehumanizing them doesn't make sense like Understand. i don't like to dehumanize the people that are that are like really creating my life, you know. Yeah. Like these people pay my bills almost, and they, yeah, they fans make... have always been a weird word. To yeah, because it's, it's always you're, been a... you're, you're like dehumanizing them. Yeah. It's a, the, the people who literally pay your bills and support yeah. you and make sure that you're 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 relevant. Yeah, you're good. So yeah. for me, yeah, I don't, I don't, I never really, really got to into that. I just love everybody. I love everything. I want to meet the world. I want to mm-hmm. see different cultures and and learn how shit's going. You know, understand? Yeah. Not, yeah, I fucks with that, bro. Hell yeah. I love that shit, man. It's very inspirational, man. Because I think what's going on in, in alternative music and rock and roll and, and hardcore, like it being really, to me, I think close to hip hop. Yeah. And it's just a lot of ways to get through that and just speak to people and talk there to people, is. man. It's, it's a really big open scene for us. Yeah. I feel like we busting down the door. And that's what we should do, you yeah. know, just stop stop giving in to, to, to fitting in, mm-hmm. if that makes yeah, any of sense. Course. You know, there's no reason to, bro. Like you, you, you started music because you wanted to do whatever the fuck you wanted to do. Yeah. Stay true to that. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's no reason to start conforming at a certain point because you want to, you want what someone else is doing. They're doing that probably because they're being themselves. And you know that you you always have the products of the industry and things, things of that nature. We're all nature. We're all products of the industry. Mm-hmm. But um, there's a way to be yourself. You know, there's a way to to embody whatever you want to. And I can't stress that enough. I like. I yeah, I like me- that though. That's yeah. why I like meeting you so much yeah. because like meeting you is like actually meeting human. You know, like meeting an animalistic being. You know, we're, we're still animals in a way. Of you know? course, we, we need to express yeah, fully. that. Yeah, you know and. Being human is a is a is like a you're trained to be human. You're trained to be how like how society is, and you could break away from that and be yourself. You know, and there's a there's a way there's a balance in between. And me, it's my whole life journey is like finding that balance in mm-hmm. between expressing our animalistic qualities and being proper. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's hard. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, rock music definitely gives me that, bro. Like just to be able to like get on stage and go crazy, to be able to get in the studio and go crazy. Yeah, I mean, just to express this. That's why I started it. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's, that's like I feel like that's what we all start creating yeah. for though. It's like you don't want to be like if, if if you if you have a leader quality or if you have like a a a way of thinking that is is self, mm-hmm. if, if you think for yourself, I mean, it's it's not hard to not want to be a part of the machine. Of course. To break away from from enslaving yourself. Yeah, of you course. Know? I mean, and we just want freedom at the end of the day. So it's yeah. like like you're saying, we are our products of the industry, but it's only because we want those certain things yeah, to make exactly. us go to, higher. To make us be but able to live how we want. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I don't think that's as selfish as people as people has like it's made not. it out to be. Yeah. You know? Because it's like we gotta eat, man. I gotta... read yeah, we have to eat for sure. But I, I I just got this book last night and I read this really crazy quote and it was like as soon as you're willing to let go of it all mm-hmm. and give everything away, it's when the universe gives you everything. It's yeah. when you it's when you obtain more power than you know what to do with. Yeah. And that's like the story of my life, you know? I don't care about other people's perspectives. Like I'm a very powerful being, you mm-hmm. know, and I, I I manipulate my consciousness in my world and I'm programming myself. So having that and knowing that has left me in such a place where even the materialistic things that I have, you know, like money at this point for me has became 
just a tool. Yeah. Like it's something that's there if I need it. But the whole, the whole point of it was to, yeah, at one point you do need to have it in you to want to obtain resources mm-hmm. and break away from being enslaved or controlled and having to work that nine to five. Of right. Course. 100%. But after obtaining that, you're, you're, you could get very diluted and your, 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 your mission be, can become blinded mm-hmm. because you're so focused on that money. Yeah. So for me, it was like, get enough money to be able to be comfortable or whatever we perceive com- comfortability as. So I don't worry about that in that area and then live my, my actual true mission. Cause mm-hmm. as human beings, we're all here to spread information and light and to guide each other. And we lack that quality nowadays. We lack connectivity. We lack growing with each other and inf- informational, our informational aspects have been blurred with like social media and, and, like our our need to be able to provide or pay your bills or whatever the case is it's it's very easy to get set off track but mm-hmm. it is you it know is, bro. that's why so, so somewhere in my journey right now it's just seeking to create connectivity again and that's what i do with the people and and in, the, in these shows i'm being such a true form of myself and connecting with these people to where like now even when i'm on the road i just feel like i'm at home all mm-hmm. the time yeah. you know like no matter where i'm at that's a beautiful feeling, just feeling at home with the universe. Understand? Yeah. Yeah, that shit is gorgeous to me. Thank you. It really, really <laughs> is, bro. Because if we can keep that, man, and I think that's what I respect about people like you and people who are just like rising, rising, or people at the top that can remember what they did it for yeah. and remember that mission, like you said, like that's the people that make the best art and also are making, they live in comfortable. Hell yeah. Like that's the beautiful thing. Once you get so comfortable and then your shit is whack. Break the that's... fucking the machine. Break yeah. the cog. 100%. I mean, we, you, 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 you can trip yourself the fuck out with this life thing man mm-hmm. yeah like so easily because i mean our our need to to feel as if we're doing the right thing or mm-hmm. on the right path bro is overwhelming it is you know and that's what drives us all at the end of the day like when you're alone at home with those thoughts you know when you're laying in bed and and you're thinking about like where you're headed and what your journey is it can be very overwhelming but creating a comfort space where people can confront that is necessary mm-hmm. we need to create a comfort space where children and and people who may lack guidance, guidance and things of that nature to 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 really connect. You yeah. Know? And that's where you see like a lot of the negative things that are happening in the world now. I mean, look at all these kids killing each other. Yeah. You know, I don't like glorifying that shit. No, no, that's I a feel big you. reason why I even stepped away from like create like rap. You know, I rap, I love rapping, but I'm not gonna glorify my culture's death. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Bro. It's a it's a lot of what they do. Yeah. That's I mean, I feel like that's why I can't really get into it at the moment. Right. Because it was just something I grew up with for so long and I was like, I'm not this. Yeah, like, my dad, are so yeah. beautiful. Like no yeah. matter what experiences people have been through, I see hope and light within people, but getting on others to see that within themselves is a whole Oh yeah. A whole that's a mission process, in itself. Right? It's like, a whole yeah. Mission. yeah. That shit is crazy. Like even like small things like my family being from the South and I got eight brothers and sisters. I got five of my, four of my sisters who was like, I will never get on a plane. Yeah. I'm like, no, you got to think outside. Like you can't like let Houston like just put you, like I'm just going to be here and I'm going to be happy. Yeah. And living like very simple, good lives. But I'm like, you got to get outside that box, man. You, you know, just so you can see, you know, experience more, get more information. My mind has been like, blown in so many different ways. Like, you know, I'm meeting people and, and actually understanding that there are there are people out there who who are seeking that you know that comfort space yeah. and the ability to communicate and, and i debate. get it i get it yeah you know and and it, i feel like it should be promoted more like yeah. there's so many people out there who are seeking connection so badly that they they sit all day on the phone yeah let's create a, a space in real life and and that's really what i want to work on i want to create a space in real life where people can come together and share ideas and create and and build and figure out what what we need you know because mm-hmm. I, I don't know I, I always feel like i'm lacking something i'm lacking um, whether it's guidance or, or an answer or, or what's really going on. And I get so caught up in the everyday aspects of living that, I don't know, sometimes when I sit down and wonder, I'm like, what is this all for? Mm-hmm. I want to feel like I'm doing something for a purpose or yeah. I'm helping people. You are, though. Thank you. Uh, like <laughs> like a, a 100%. Did your parents, like, or your family, did they support your music drive you had growing up? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I came from a, a weird household. I mean, my mother's Sicilian-Italian my father's Haitian okay you know like I never met my mother's like family or anything like that I had a very very weird upbringing um I was very raised by by my my father's family and seeing like uh how these third world countries are living and things of that nature has inspired me in so many different ways just the amount of resources we have and the ability to act on our ideas is is incredible and I feel like we all take it for granted yeah you know so Agreed. Yeah, they they definitely supported me 
taking action and wanting to do what I wanted to do in my life. And you know, when you're not having results instantly, it's very scary. Yes. When your parents are like, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> you know, they're figuring out like, what the fuck are you going to do? You know, how are you going to take care of yourself? Yeah. And you're, you're coming into adulthood with this dream of mm-hmm. being an artist or, or being a creative. And it's very scary, you know, living in those spaces, especially for, for like my parents and, and like my, especially my father coming from such a, a different background, mm-hmm. you know, come from a third world country. They, they, they're really into work. Yeah. And, and, providing for yourself and him seeing me like my dad was in the music it's a big reason why like he inspired me you know so yeah, what type of tunes did, did he fuck with like compa oh, oh like wait what's compa what's yeah, that it's, it's like haitian music like mm, okay. yeah it's real fire like my dad was fucking like sweet mickey and stuff which is like a former president of haiti okay he's a musician and yeah like i was just always in my roots so like um them shit the drums on those songs were probably amazing oh yeah 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 they're wild <laughs> you know very very almost psychedelic like trans like and in a dance way, you know? But yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, it, it was a lot of support, but a lot of worry at the same time. And uh, I guess that's why moving with caution and being so informational is a big part of myself, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, once again, I, I really do love that about you, man. I think I had my mom and my dad. I didn't live with my dad, but my mom was always like, this is a hobby thing. Yeah. And then my dad, it was he like still raps to this day and it's still like very ratchet. But to me, it was like the dichotomy of having like a religious mom and then like a dad who was like, like a crip. Like my my grandfather. I don't even think I've said this to a lot of people, but like my my grandfather lived with his dad here in Compton, and he was like cripping. Hell yeah! And then he took that back to Houston. Oh shit! So it was like that type of in, like energy was in my family, yeah. and I, when I came out, I was just like, no, like, yeah. I'm like a nice guy who like I like sports, and then by 13, I was so in love with music, yeah. and they were just like, this is some weird shit, man. But like, it took them a minute because to we were, come, yeah, it was like it took them a long time, but like yeah. now they, yeah, love it, bro. and 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 that's the thing, it's, it's beautiful. Like, yeah, getting getting family to understand that is so hard, especially yeah. if you come from any sort of struggle, of of course, you, which we all do, yeah. like most of us. You yeah. have that culture shock, that like yeah. that reality. You know, you're always smacked into reality, but I, I, that's a part of the safety behind it. You yeah. know, like you, you, it's almost like you're 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 subconsciously creating a safety net while you're making music, 100%. and that's what we're all doing. That's why at the end of the day, you know, we we are still a part of the industry because we need to. But when it comes down to it, it's like um. I don't know. Like how you said, it, it was almost like detaching ourselves. Uh, I, th- there was almost like an awakening, awakening with technology as well. Like our our parents lived in their their borough or their section where they yes. grew up, and they didn't see outside of that. They didn't understand outside of that. No, we've had so much <laughs> access. Like you, we could see what's happening in other countries. Like before, we were completely unaware if we were even at war. Yeah. So now being able to just see what's happening in another country, you, you're so uh, up to date with information and so in the in the moment, like you're you're learning about things as they happen, mm-hmm. uh, it's given us so much more access, yeah. you know, and understanding, which has led us to be able to see that we want something better for yeah. us. Yeah, so I agree with it. I love that shit. Man. Yeah, finding yeah. balance within it is 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 a whole nother thing. But we we should be grateful that we have the ability to see. Yeah, yeah. true, I true. It. I feel like um, I always kind of saw myself as, as this like very naive person to chase a dream and to believe and be so young and be like, I can do this. Like, I don't care about the other shit, but I feel like it's way more of a delusional thing. Yeah, you just have to be. In like a faith driven thing. Even yeah. if you don't have religious beliefs, like Dude, I think it's just more of a faith. I always say you have delusional. to be a little bit crazy to yeah. become a creative. You, exactly. You're risking everything. You're risking everything. You're risking safety. You're, yeah. risking, you're risking everything, you know? You're risking being able to fail in silence, which mm-hmm. is a big superpower. Because when you're able to no, fail, you're right. <laughs> when you're able to fail in silence yeah. and no one's watching you, it's so much easier to bounce it's back. Easy. Like okay, like no one saw that. But when you have all these eyes on you, and even when you're not buzzing, there's a lot of people paying attention. Of course, it's it's overwhelming, and then it, it comes with like uh, we're we're all seeking like gratification, of course, instant gratification. And when you don't get it, you know, and especially when you put so much energy and work into something, it's almost a letdown. Yeah, but being comfortable with that is also a superpower within itself. Like we we are comfortable with failing publicly and yeah. being able to do that leads you to be able to just do whatever the fuck you want because you're like you know what, i'm gonna try this and even if i do fail we'll figure this shit out yeah of course you know so yeah because there's no other way yeah there's no other having way having that i love you know yeah. and that's why i love being around creatives because they're they're willing to try things 100 percent. and we all have to be willing to try things that's how we're gonna push our conscience yeah I love god it. damn it <laughs> <laughs> that's so real though man i, I love that shit so much bro because I, I was i think i said on the last one i was just like i I feel like I failed for seven years in a row. Yeah. Until until die out here. Yeah. Like I feel like there was no song. Like people 
dug what I was doing and like was into it and people were watching, but I feel like there was no real gratification until a month ago. Fuck and yeah. I feel like I'm failing. Happy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm and happy. we did that together. Yeah. And it's like, but I was, I didn't think in my mind I'm failing. I was just like, oh, they'll get it. Yeah. Like, that's crazy in itself. Like, nah, nigga, you actually need to like, Go I don't crazy. know what we gonna do. Like, yeah. but I'm just like, no, nah, it'll be fine. Like, it'll be, you know, having a lot of, a, a great team too, but. That's crazy, yeah, because I was doing it in front of people's faces. That's the thing, you know? You know? Yeah. And yeah. You, and, <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, it's such a superpower. And yeah, it is. It's it like, is. I don't I don't know. You never know what it's what like you, what could push you over that limit, you know, where, like, the whole world's going to see you at one time. And that's why it's just, like, being, as the artist, you know, you have a whole team behind you. We have a bunch of people who are helping us yes. bring our dreams to life. But as the artist, you have to almost detach yourself and just indulge in creativity and do whatever the fuck you want and knowing that not all of it's going to work but something will stick and having that is 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 great you know that's what drives me that's what gives me yeah. the ability to say you know what fuck it i'm going to try what i want of course and we'll see where this takes us and along the way you're going to have a bunch of people who support that so much and and that is your stability yeah you know rather than giving people what you know they want or what's buzzing right now mm-hmm. and then becoming a part of a wave you know it, it's you're building a cult yeah. and and you're building a, a safe place for people so i don't I don't know. It's really, it's really, the center of everything I do. Yeah, I can't stress it. No, it's, no, it's real. I, I want to ask too. Um, what was like? I don't want to say inspiration, but what was the drive and the feeling that you wanted to give with Party at the Cemetery? Oh man, there's so much. I mean, because like, it, it was like a different turn that I loved yeah. personally. From I mean, even what was but, going on at one point with like a like a My Chemical Romance. Yeah. Or, you know, like I love Bring Me to Horizon. Getting to meet Ollie was a dream of yeah, mine. Yeah, no, you, you said know? that's one of your homies. Hell yeah. Yeah, and, yeah and shout out to that, man. So it's fucking amazing. So cool. And it's like, um, I don't I don't know. Like for for me, like just seeing that that urge for something else, that urge to connect with people or or, or seek new information or mm-hmm. understanding was always a drive from Nirvana, from mm-hmm. you know sleeping with science from anybody, any band that I listened to when I was a kid, you know, even Green Day, like yeah. meeting Billy Joe Armstrong yeah. was insane to me. Yeah. But that's my favorite band. I'm gonna keep it a bug. All Green of Green Day is my favorite. Everybody <laughs> you know was so it was like nonconformism at, at its finest. Yeah. You know, like people really fighting to be an individual. And then somewhere along the way we lost that again, you know? Hundred percent. But I think that's what's coming back. Nowadays there's so many different subgenres and people who are creating great music yeah. that has never existed before that it gives hope. It gives mm-hmm. a lot of hope. Yeah, it does. So yeah, the everything. I'm always paying attention to to what's going on and, and new creatives, old creatives are you know, it's it's a clusterfuck of creativity. Yeah. Oh, nowadays. dude, it is everybody, even if even people who are still working in society, yeah, everybody's a creative in their own way. You have TikTok now, you have Instagram, you have Twitter. So it all inspires me, you yeah. know, just being a part of the world. Yeah, I feel that all the way, man. I want to say too, I, I want to shout out to Drew Folk who introduced Hell me to yeah. your tunes. Hell and uh, yeah. I remember him showing me your shit because once again, I'm always watching as well. And uh, I had heard about you and like, I feel like we had a talk of, I, I'm just always, I'm, I'm into what's happening in rock music with everyone. I think some of it's really good, but I, I really truly believe that a lot of the black artists and POC artists in rock are doing some of the best shit. Fuck yeah. And he showed me your shit and I was in love with it. Thank I you. I really was, man. I, I remember loved it. you, man. Yeah, he's bro. such a cool That's my guy. Man. He's very down to earth as well. And he's a badass fucking producer. Yeah, he's, he's really fucking crazy. So talented, dude, I dog. Know. That, that's the thing. It's like, I don't know, get in to meet people and just bounce ideas back and forth and, 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 and be introduced to these things is, is so beautiful, man. You know, and then the, the fact that the, these relationships that we build create this, yeah, you know? It's like 100%. everybody meeting each other and, and, and building relationships and creating great music is, is, is great. I feel like we're a part of something that is great right now. Yeah, it's very special. We're, bro, like if we, if we think about it, we actually are in a very special time yeah. in our turn of music. And music, period, but I think there's just so many lanes open for people that look like us and, and people exactly. are very accepting to it, especially when it's dope as fuck like it is, you yeah, know. It's, yeah, being colored especially and being like flamboyantly yourself yeah. is very not normal. Yeah, not you at know, all. You know, like creating and being different, you're, you're almost very forced to to be ignorant Yeah, in a way. It's not cool and the, uh, that's why I love what we're doing. We're mm-hmm. creating a safe space for these people to be able to express themselves and, and to see people do it again, you know? Like, we've always been there, bro. Yeah, for Box sure. Walks originated from us, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, but... I mean, talk about how... how I, I was having a talk with my main producer last week of uh, 
coming when we're 40 and 50 there's going to be kids that look like us that's making what we're making yeah and, and, and that's just never happened it's always bro. been that way though yeah. but it just hasn't been that it hasn't been in a light yeah. yeah but it, it, it was in the light though and that's the thing it, it has been but for some reason we blind ourselves mm -hmm. and and i don't know if it's how the industry is promoting work or if it's the general uh perspective mm -hmm. but it's a trip, you know, that we always find ourselves in this place where, where we're like seeking understanding yeah, so much yeah. because of our, the tone of our skin mm -hmm. or who we are, like, like om not, almost not being looked at as human. Yeah. So what the fuck is going on? You yeah. know, we're people too. We're intaking the same information that you guys are in intaking, but for some reason we're not being accepted the same way. Yeah. It's always rubbed me in a, in a weird manner. And then seeing how like the promotion of our content is all negative and yeah. violence related, it, it doesn't make much sense. It doesn't. Yeah. At all, I'm that's, that's I'm constantly trying to change that shit. If it's if it's like a bio, a photo, what people are saying, I already said to my team, I'm like, if anybody calls me anything but a rock and roll artist this year, I'm going off on any publicist, anybody, because <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what else is it? Because I hear all these songs on like big playlists yeah. where people who who don't look like us are rapping in triplets and it's labeled as rock and yeah. it's labeled as hard rock and it's like on everything yeah, and still, I'm just I like get labeled as hip hop yeah. and that blows my fucking mind blo bro like, like, what I feel like we should talk about, about it. It. I'm just like what, what is it <laughs> what is like, hip hop about this not at all <laughs> oh shit like I am actually like it's a melody <laughs> it's I don't want to get yeah. into that but I'm like come on bro like it's, that's just they're blinding themselves. Yeah, they are. You know, I think we're. I think literally, you and I and a few more people are shifting it. Yeah, and I just like that shit is special. It's not many. That shit is special, man. Yeah, it is. and that, that's why I think we talk too. Is like, I don't want to have any of that shit in the '90s or the '80s. Like after Jimmy, I want us to like embrace each other and love each Hell other. Yeah. And I feel like we gotta fucking kill each other down to get that number to one get, spot, yeah. bro. And then like, because it's all for us, bro. The money is for us and everything else. I'm like, so it happy really you is. said that. It's such a destructive industry. Yeah. You know, like everyone's just stealing from each other. Yeah, you'll like, kill your brother to get to the top. It's like, nah, we're not doing nah, that. No, we're not like, doing I'm not doing, doing that. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. And, and building these relationships, bro, when we're, later on in life, I'm telling you, it's going to be so beautiful. Yeah. Just being able to sit back and just see everything that we've accomplished and everything that we've experienced alone, you know, just, you can find a lot of gratitude in that. Yeah, true. So, I, I don't know, keep it like this, you know, supporting each other and keeping ourselves on the right track is a, is a big key and I love it. I love what's yeah. happening right now. Yeah, I can't too. be more inspired. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm really, really, really excited for the future and fucking, yeah, same. we got to kill it, you know? Yeah, we are. Crazy. I mean, we, we, we don't kill it. I, <laughs> yeah. I also want to ask, I know you're on tour right now, but then you're going, is it Europe would bring yeah. me or? Yeah, so, I know you're fucking geek for that dude, shit. Dude, I'm going to fucking lose my mind because I'm really overwhelmed, right? So I'm doing my first stadium uh, like presentations or performances with artists that have been moguls in my life. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, I, I'm going to, I'm doing Download Link Festival with Amazing. Metallica. Oh, I know about it. You know? I like, saw the like, post. Like, like, I love where do that. You, where do you feel comfortable? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then, you know, touring with yeah. Billy the Horizon, A Day to Remember, and Lorna Shore, and like, you know, these are such, such talented acts and mm -hmm. people who are really, really the, the genuine uh, representation of being yourself and doing whatever the fuck you want or whatever culture you love and being a part of that right now is so inspiring to me like yeah. i don't know i'm very overwhelmed and i'm very excited i don't know how to feel but it's beautiful yeah. and that's where i say you you know it it pays off to be yourself and and i can't stress it i can't stress it enough like no you gotta know tell how people. i got here you know yeah yeah, it's yeah such a beautiful thing that that we get to do it and sitting down meeting like even like, as i was saying earlier like ollie his perspective is so beautiful mm -hmm. You know, and, and his support for them for for everything that's going on is is inspirational to me at the same time. And even how all these festivals now are back up and promoting what was going on. Like at one time, it was like Warp Tour was insane. Yeah. I wish I was able to be a part of that. Right, you know? right. But it almost seemed like what was happening with live music wasn't good. It it, it was like not being promoted as much. It was everything was now in the, in, in, in the social media area and mm -hmm. and what what can get you a million views in, yeah. in two seconds. Mm -hmm. You know, but dissecting that and then being able to bring it back to a, a, a an original form of expression is is so inspiring. You know? Yeah, yeah, it is. Seeing in the state right now, I love it. And I don't know. I'm I'm really just excited for the future. I don't know how to experience I don't I don't know how to express the experiences. It's so overwhelming. But maybe in a few years, you know, after yeah. after everything goes on and, and it settles in, I'll I'll be able to express it better. Yeah, we'll have another hang in a conversation about yeah. it. And yeah. It'll be it'll be good. Um I have a question for you. What's going on? Can I ask and let and let the people know how did you get discovered, man? What's your what's your story coming in? Um, it was a beautiful, crazy story, man. I mean, uh, I was making music for a while and just releasing it on social media, doing local shows. Um, mm -hmm. 
back in South Florida and starting to create like a little bit of buzz. I started getting hit up by labels and stuff. And a group of producers flew me out to LA. We started sitting down and making music and creating. And then from then on, you know, getting introduced to business yeah. and labels and negotiating deals and stuff was a big part of what was going on. But uh, just trying to figure out a safe space for myself and what was going to be right for my journey <clears throat> with the right team and without being manipulated or pushed into a direction I didn't want to be pushed into. But um, yeah, it was tough, bro. Yeah. The ins and outs, the arguments, the, mm -hmm. the fight for, for to be myself, you know, like in the beginning process is the first producers that brought me out. Like, I mean were almost completely trying to manipulate my career. Gotcha. And for me, there was no comfort in that. Like, I don't, I, I can't be forced into a lane that I don't find comfort in. And um, 100%. breaking away from that was a big uh, success story within itself and regaining independence and, and being able to push what I wanted to push, you know, was crazy. So being in that space now is definitely very beautiful. Fuck yes. Shout out to you being a strong <laughs> individual, bro. Thank you. That's all it's about, man. Because I, I think we all kind of start out when we get that first little taste of maybe this could happen or, Maybe there's a group of people that could help us. It's always some weird shit that, yeah. that has to, you got to go through. And then you come out the other side. Mo most of us do. You know, yeah. some of us don't. But most of us, you know, so thank God for that shit. Definitely, um, definitely. I got I to say, I know I've said thank you a lot on this on this talk, but uh, for you getting on Dial here. Of course. I it, love this song, by it, the way. It, thank you, bro. When you sent that shit through, I lost my mind. I, I, I was I was going crazy. Bro, I was like, yeah. <laughs> dog, I was like, we, we, it was like the first single from, from what we got building and, and, I, I knew it was a banger, my A&R, my whole team, and I was like, this shit's incredible, but I was like, I want to get somebody on it that I'm inspired by, and that's so dope, and your name came up, and I was like, what the fuck? Hell I yeah. immediately hit you, and you hit me back, bro, and I was like, oh, shit. Fuck yeah. I remember you FaceTiming me. I was in Malibu. I was chilling with the lady, and then <laughs> Hell yeah. I was geek, bro. Like, your energy was just so amazing, bro. I was fuck like, I yeah. feel like you really fuck with the song, man. That's why I fuck with you, man. I mean, yeah. like, bro, your 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 raw expression, bro, yeah. how intimate you are with the music. I mean, it's just beautiful, bro. Um, I, everybody should definitely check you out. Yeah, they got to I mean, get on shit, If you're listening to me, and fucking, you, 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 ain't, you, ain't, you ain't tapped <laughs> on with this man yet, I'm telling you, you guys are missing now, bro. Come on, he's man. Fucking, he's a beautiful artist. He's amazing. And, Thank I you, mean, he, he inspires me at the end of the day. This shit is, is crazy. It's beautiful. And I love seeing where, where, where the sound is going. Yeah, I love man. It. I love it's, it. a, it's exciting, bro. I mean, I know we were talking. Yeah, it's just, it's, and I, you know, it's the first song that's connected with people. And that shit is really cool to do it with you and to have it be such a real expression. Like, Song is like it's not about no bullshit, but it's like yeah. it's it's getting played on radio, it's getting yeah. played on pop radio it's like beautiful. that shit. Even is the sick video, as hell. yeah, we executed the shit perfectly. Yeah, we we smashed that. Well, shit. I mean, that shit was crazy. It was crazy. We I was like, yo, <laughs> yeah, we 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 kill. Honestly, man, yeah, it was just like a perfect storm brewing with that one, and uh, yeah, man, I'm just happy it was the first one for people to really get to hear and like, cause once we put it out, I saw, I don't know if it was just from it being a perfect thing or from you or. But people were just like, yo. And I was like, oh, shit. I've never had that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? People were just like, oh, all but right. you deserve it. Yeah, I was like, you I see you. You deserve it. Yeah, the music's man. so fucking good. And yeah, it's, man. It's, it's, uh, you can play it at any point in time. And you can. You can party dog. to it. You can chill to it. It's relatable. And yeah. I mean, just your expression is so natural, bro. I love it. Genuinely, bro. It's beautiful. I love the experience. We definitely got to make more shit. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do, <laughs> man. Yeah, I was saying earlier, but if you got, I know you're working on some shit, man. If you got anything that you see fit where I can, where I can get in, let me know. For sure, yeah. Let's go crazy. That, that shit would be crucial. Um, crazy. I gotta ask too. Like, if, if is there anyone who's alive or who who's passed that you would just want to hang with, have a oh, have a sig with? I'll say, who, X, just yeah, yeah. Just being, have you met him? But yeah, did you meet him before? Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even ski, like so clearly, like bro, met him on multiple multiple occasions, just coming around from the same season, scene and stuff like that, and just you come from a strong from. like. I know we said it earlier, but like that, people gotta realize. For the people who don't know, gotta realize that shit was like it took over. Yeah, it took over. I mean, it was like, beautiful. Just yeah. being able to be a part of that was it was it was a trip within itself. And you I were mean, probably like a kid, kid. Yeah, like, I was a kid. I was yeah. young. I was yeah. fourteen, thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's like, oh, all right, all right. Bet, yeah, bet, bet. yeah. But like, I don't know. Like, we lost so many great talents. I mean, from Ski Pete. Juice, like all, all these, all these young kids who are just yeah, destined for greatness. I mean, X is, the, 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 he's almost bro. a Kurt Cobain of our generation. Bro. When you think about it, the distorted 100%. sound that is now being so used, the rock sound. Yeah, he brought that. Like, like I, that was the first time I saw like young, cool, like black kids being like, "All right, oh, where's my guitar?" And like, open, like, and open to new information, and yeah. also on the same journey yeah, to create true. a safe space for for, for everybody, mm -hmm. and and to to leave a, a void of of open expression. I mean, it was so big and. And it was so taken for granted almost, you know? I mean, yeah. rest in peace, but yeah, that yeah. shit is just sad. Definitely rest in peace to that man. Yeah, rest in peace to everybody. This shit is just sad, but yeah, man, like, 
uh, being a part of it and just seeing like, yeah, you can really do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. And there's so many people out here who are seeking the same thing that you could almost do it together. And that's what like that, that, that time was a, a product of like, you, everyone knew each other. Everyone yeah. was fucking with each other. Everyone was doing shows and it blew up so big that we got to do this shit around the world and, yeah. and, and really live. So, I mean, yeah, just, just to, yeah. You know, I'm, I mean, there's people who are alive right now who I definitely fuck with too. You know, who are doing it crazy. You got Ghost Man, you know, he's yeah. sick as fuck, man. You know, Ian, I love Ian the fucking Yeah, death, yeah shout out know? to Ian too, man. This thing, I love him. And yeah, thank me. you for introducing us on no, FaceTime. Then I got to meet him at, and, yeah, yeah, no, and no Coachella. Problem, bro. He's yeah. great, but even what he's doing with music and, you know, everyone's in their own lane and, 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 and being so true right now that it's just beautiful, man. You give give props to the whole entire industry right you now. You have to, yeah. yeah. I, that's what I really care about too, man. That's why I never like, I'm always, I got to give people their flowers. Yeah. Always, man. Especially what I respect and what I love. I'm like, I need you to know now yeah. instead of like, when instead we of later. And, yeah. and that's something that we should promote more now, yeah. you know? Like, let's give, let's give each other our fucking, our cookies while yeah, we're alive, 100%. bro. You know what I'm trying to say? Hundred percent, and it's yeah. and it's beautiful to be surrounded by people that you love and you respect, and you know what they create. You're really into, you know. You just gotta let them know and yeah. send a text, and you never call. know what's gonna happen. Yeah, you don't. You know, it's, it's beautiful. You don't, man. I it, man. Um, I love that you said X, man, because now I want to listen to him when I when we're done with this shit. Hell yeah, for real. Because it's been a minute, bro. He's like I'm. Bro, he's so fucking good. I remember like homies who were not listening to shit like that would hit me and be like, "Can I listen to this?" Like, I'm like, "It's fucking art." Bro, if you look at the shit that he was doing and yeah. the amount of people who knew what he was doing and the people who were even, I mean, bro, it scared a lot of people. It did. There's it so did. many. It, no, people, it did. <laughs> there's so many people, bro, who are already set in stone and having great careers that were just intimidated, you know, by by this Easy. new wave. Yeah. And and and, bro, I mean, his stage presence was. It's untouchable. Understand. Till right now, bro. There's no artist from art from what's going on right now mm-hmm. that, bro. You go to one of the shows and every kid in there screaming every fucking lyric. The roof is falling off. Yeah, the place, bro. It's Facts. beautiful. I mean, there is that. It's still happening now. But at that point in time, bro, it was so cutthroat and yeah. crazy, bro. Look like, at me. Yeah. <laughs> I remember hearing that shit like, oh. My- Oh, I was like freaking the fuck out, bro. Yeah, I didn't know. And then he took it to the guitar and with revenge, I was just like, oh, all right. And even like this the, is where I'm trying to go. With, with, with Shiloh and yeah. the, the acoustic crazy. Yeah, bro. It was crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Amazing, inspiring. Um, yeah, man, you I think you come from a really like beautiful artistic place, man. And then that like it, that area of, of Florida has to be up there with to me with what Atlanta had did through like twenty ten to like Maybe oh, yeah. two years ago, last year, where everything so, so, that was so, coming so, out was yeah, yeah, was so, just I'm, like the whole way that they, they they come together. I mean, and and how the gatekeepers are yeah, really, they come together. Yeah, that's why it works. Like you were saying, like exactly. you guys did. That's like that's, that's what we got to do. Yeah, that's what we're doing now. And yeah, that's true. What makes it it's true. Sick. Like the fact that we're coming together, a part of a scene, it creates a scene, mm-hmm. an actual scene. Yeah, and that's what we lack. Everybody's so focused on themselves that yeah. you get a little bit of taste of money or taste of whatever yeah. the fuck you just get and lost and then it was like no don't say scene don't say like together because it kills us and it's like no we don't gotta fight the next man though yeah. that's the thing like once you put the ego out of it it's fine yeah shout out to Atlanta because they, they definitely stick together they stick together and to now to where it's it's undeniable it's too many they're yeah. just coming out and it's like oh another from El- of course yeah from Atlanta yeah oh, it's, it's, yep we love him too yep we love her yeah. it's, like, it's fire yeah. like um what what else can what else can we talk about before we get out of here I mean, what else do you have anything you have anything else going on? Anything you want to say or Fuck just yeah. period? I got, yeah, I got a fucking a project coming out very soon. Uh, that I'm gonna be on. I'm just, I'm hell just yeah. saying that he didn't it's, say that. I was hell yeah, be on. hell yeah, hell yeah. But <laughs> got a project coming out soon. It's gonna be a bunch of different crazy sounds. Yes, it's just a, a representation of what I'm in taking at the moment. Um, got a movie. You know, I'm writing a movie right now. Your songs are like in movies. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. people need to know that too. Like, yeah, bro. Hell yeah. It's sick. <laughs> something that you're writing or something that you're shooting? Well, yeah, I'm shooting a film. I okay. wrote a film. Okay, yeah, fine. Me and one of my home, homies wrote a film. We're in the works of getting it produced and, and written with a bunch of co-directors and writers and stuff now, which I'm very excited for. Just entering that aspect. I mean, shout out to Rob Zombie. Shout out to Gaspar now. That's a very big, big inspiration. But, Beautiful. Um, yeah, man. Very excited to, to like sit down and create soundtracks for the films and... and uh, really bring all these ideas I have to life mm-hmm. you know, in a very organized manner to where we're portraying exactly whatever subliminal message I want to get across across and being visually uh, uh, 
pleasing, yeah, aesthetically yeah. pleasing, yeah, you know, yeah. in, in, in a manner that is almost a shock to our system. I'm very into psychology and, you know, just the different canals and roots in our, in our, in our brains, our, our ways of wiring and, and the ways to manipulate that. It's very, very interesting. Love that. Yeah. I love that, man. Well, I, I love you, bro. I really I love do, you and I'm too, thankful brother. for you, dog. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you're the fucking man. I mean, I mean that shit. Um, this has been another episode, and, and honestly, this is my favorite so far. Yeah, I had a great time. It, it really is. I, I, I love talking to you. Uh, thank you all for tuning into to Dwayne's World. I'll see you guys very soon, man. You guys have a beautiful time, man. Let's thank go. you for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. Thank you, King. Fuck yeah.